So now that our pins are placed, this is the pin distractor. Pretty standard. It's all right, Paul. Don't no worries. All right. So uh, with these with these systems, the pins will lock on to the distractor. And that's just because there's multiple um, uh, rounds of malleting and, you know, and, and the, uh, di the pin distractor can, can ricochet back out. So this, that overhead camera, let's see if we can get this better angle. And this doesn't trend on. John, if we have, if, John, if we have some uh, a little bit of time to to talk about the the preoptive imaging, you uh, mentioned um, conventional X-rays and MRI. Do you um, think it's um, necessary to have a pre-op CT as well, or would you think this is something that you can um, that you can avoid? Yeah, I, you know, my my general is um, just the just the MRI. Uh, I do an X-ray um, in so, in maybe somewhat older patients just to see the true degree of spondylosis and, and osteophyte formation. I do feel mm -hmm. that if there's very heavy osteophytes and if there's not as much of an ability to, to distract that disc segment, an arthroplasty may not be the best option. Um, mm -hmm. I do not uh, routinely get CT scans 